Hello everybody and welcome to your third wire mod tutorial for Gary's Mod. Now in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the lamp again and find out how to use it in more of a practical way in different situations as well as look at the other inputs the lamp actually takes. So to get started uh, we're just going to do a quick refresher and go ahead and put down a lamp. Again any color any pattern Go head down to your buttons under I.O. Place a button anywhere. Make sure toggles on again. And wire it up to the on. Okay. So if everything's working correctly, again, you can just test it by hitting your use key on the button. So now that we have that set, we have a way to turn it on and off. Now if we scroll over, we can see all the inputs it takes. All red green and blue are um, three of the different colors that are used in the computer language so if we hold down Q you can see that this color picker here this is particularly for the wire tool but if we go up to the lamp you can see that it's not much different and on the right here for the color I picked which was a green you can see that has zero red units 255 green units and 42 blue units so if we wanted to match that color we would have to first get out our wire advanced tool and we'd have to set the the red to zero the green to 255 I believe it was and the blue to whatever I just read off there and that would match the exact color now for distance the distance is how far the light will actually shine and the brightness is you know, how bright it is. So let's make a button that will change the brightness on this lamp. So first you're going to have to go back under your button to I.O. Now what's special about this button is we're going to need to make it have two different values, not just one and zero. So for value on, let's take it to uh, full brightness, which is eight. And you can get as close to eight as you can. Um, I either get 7.9 or 8.1, so I'm just going to go 7.9. And then for off, or I mean for the off value of the button, I'm going to change it to uh, 3.9. Now the reason I know those values, uh, the 3 and 4, or since you know you can't get right on the dot 7.9 and 3.9, is because if you go under the lamp you can see that there's the brightness and distance category listed right here and you can see if I turn it all the way to max is 8 and if I take it about you know halfway it's 4 units half of 8 is 4 and then if you take it all the way down 0 which means you know it's not even on so once we place this button the value as of now is since the button is not pressed or off it's sending out a 3.9 now when I hit the use key on it or turn it on it will output a 7.9 and that will again change the brightness so we have to go to our wire tool and we're going to link the brightness to the output of the button now it's not shining right now because I don't even have this on yet so when I turn it on you can see that it's um, on and if I I don't know the best way to view this. I'm going to move this around to here. And this is just so you guys can see it. But if I use this, you can see that the brightness changes as I hit it. Because, um, again, it's going from 3.9, as you can see in the speech bubble. It says equals 3.9. And then when I activate it, it says 7.9. So the brightness just changed from a brightness level of 3.9 all the way up to 7.9. So that you got that, it's still not very practical to, to use this. I mean, you'd have to come in, hit the button, then hit another button to change the brightness. Well, what if you wanted these cool high-tech lights that when you walk into the room, it just automatically turns on knowing that you're there? Well, we can do this by using only two items, and that is a lamp and what is called a target finder. Now, what a target finder does is it finds a target and that could be an NPC, an object, a human player, it could be anything. So we're going to use that into um, pretty much finding us and then turning it on 
when we want it to. So I'm actually going to assemble it out here, and what's cool about this is you can move it wherever you want after you're done building it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the lamp again. Now, customize this however you want, because this is going to be a pretty cool light. You could use this in your house, you can use this um, you know, in a building, in a cool light project that you're doing. And I'm just going to do this light blue, and all you're going to do is you're going to place it. Now, what I like to do is when I work on it, I'm going to take it up, rotate it around, and freeze it up there. And that's just so I can get a little, um, you know, a little bit more working room and I'm not looking down on the ground all the time. So now you're going to want to go under your, let's see here, it's under the beacon tab and you're going to click on target finder. Now here you see a whole bunch of settings, but don't get you know confused or anything. The minimum range is you know the minimum range the target can be away from the target finder. So when you click the target finder, you know that's the target finder right there. If I walk away, I'm getting further and further away from it. As I get closer, you know, closer and closer. So the minimum range is one. So I have to be at least one unit away for it to detect me. If I have it at max to 1,000, it won't detect me unless I'm at least a thousand meter or a thousand units away. So now that we got that cleared out, maximum range. How far do you want it to go before it cannot detect you anymore? So I have mine set right here to 159 units. So let's say this is 159 units. As soon as I step back one more and make it 160, it will automatically stop detecting me because I'm out of range. Uh, what else do we need to go over here? Uh, maximum number of targets. How many people can target at one time? And for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at one. Number of bogeys, which is almost the same thing, so you're going to want to leave that as one as well. You want target players. That way it can target you as the person when you walk into the room or wherever you're walking. Do not target owner. You want to make sure that's unchecked because if you have it checked, it won't target the owner, which is you because you're making it. Same thing with do not target owner stuff. For this tutorial, it's good to keep it off. Target NPCs, I have that off just because if an NPC walks through it, I don't want it to uh, set it off. I want to be what sets it off. Um, here you can change the NPC filters, all this stuff, but it's really not that important right now. So, all we're going to do is you're going to change the range that you want to um, have this target find you at. Now, uh, due to the large amount that it can be, it can be all the way from 1 to 1,000. You're not going to get very precise, so if you go over the slightest bit, you're either going to get 54, 159, and go up like that. So 54 is pretty close, so I'm going to keep mine at 159. That's a good um, distance away. So again, the target, or the, um, the target locator will only pick me up if I'm at least 159 units close to it. So if I'm 160 right here, now I'm 159. It will start picking me up, picking me up, picking me up, picking me up, you know, and it will activate. So we're just going to place this on the flashlight. Now you can place this anywhere you want. I mean, you could even place it there if you want to. It just creates a weird looking shadow there. Um, but of course, that's from the flashlight already. So I'm just going to smack mine onto the side right there. Now, all you're going to do is this is the really simple part. You just go to wire advanced and you want the flashlights on input to be linked to the um, target finder. And the only thing you can choose is the one. So there you go. Now it's, now it's good. So as you can see, I'm obviously out of range and it's not picking me up. But as soon as I get in range, it will find me. The target finder will find me. And then as soon as it finds a target, it will output a 1 and to, to the flashlights on um, input. So if we take it down here, you can see it in action. Put it like right here. There you go. All right. So, you know, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. And you get 159 meters away from it, and it turns on right for you. And you can have a ton of these. You can have a ton of them linked up if you even wanted to. Like if we have um, this right here, we could place... Uh, where are my lamps? 
right up here. If we have three lamps here and we want to rotate them some more. And obviously these are on right now, but I'm about to fix that. But all we'd have to do is we'd have to take out our wire tool again. And you're just going to, for each one of these, change the link the on to the one on the target finder. And you're just going to keep doing that for each one. On to the target finder. And for the last one, oops, on to the target finder right there. Okay. So now, if we try this again, we walk, we come in range, and all three turn on. Because that one is sent to all the flashlights because we wired it to the on on all the flashlights. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, to wrap it up, you know, that's pretty much what we did. We added a target finder, which is new, to a lamp, which uh, you should be familiar with. And we changed the brightness a little bit, and we found out a more practical use for the lamp on how to make it activate when you're within range. Now, I could also, if I wanted to, before I wrap this up, we could go back to the detection tab, or not, I'm sorry, the beacon tab, to the target finder, and if we wanted to jack this way up, let's say hmm, 1,500. Yeah, that's a little far. Uh, how about 600? Yeah. And again, if you ever want to update anything in wire, you change the setting, and you just click on whatever you want to update. And there you go. So if we walk far away from this, and hopefully this room is a little bit bigger than 500 units, there you go. As you see, I'm out of range. But if I walk close, and as soon as I get within that number, which is 685, there you go. And I'm a lot further. Like, that's the lamp right there on my crosshairs. And I'm a lot further than I was before. So you can see you can change the range up quite a bit. So that's about right, right here is when I begin going in and out of the range of the target finder so again you can customize this to whatever range you want and again like if I check do not target owner it won't target me anymore see I can be right under it. I can jump into it whatever I want to do but since I don't have it allowing it to target me it won't target me and it won't turn on so again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any questions, leave them down below again. Uh, third tutorial, please, please, please comment and give me some feedback. Let me know if I'm going a little too fast, if it's a little bit too advanced, if you guys even like the tutorials, or even if you guys want to see something else, like you know how to build something or how to work with thrusters, how to work with um, you know advanced pod controllers. And if you don't... You know, if you don't know what any of those are, just keep going with these tutorials because if you guys like it and if I continue, we'll get there eventually. So, again, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and have a nice day.